It's a teacher that's kind of not a guy and not a girl, like somewhere in between. Oh, so you're kind of a boy and you're kind of a girl? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, right on. I want to be a boy, but never like being a girl. You know what? Every you know, you have choices in this world to be all sorts of different things, but that's why it's MX. So, mix Chavez. That's where that comes from. I know some of you were a little confused. Some of you came and talked to me about it. What? Some people do identify that way. I'm actually trans, so I'm not a tomboy, I'm, I'm trans. But some people do, and I'm sure if they wanted to, they could also go by mix in their classroom. Any other questions? Do you have any other questions or can we move on? I am an out teacher at my school, out as both bisexual and trans. So none of the kids knew me as trans, but I wanted to talk about it. So what I did is as soon as I came back, I joined up with the GSA, realized how many questions the kids had and decided the best thing to do would be to host a Q and A. Um, and I spent about 10 minutes talking about the difference between gender, sex and sexual orientation. And then also talking about my own life story, sort of like the highlight reel of how I decided to come out. I am Miss Watsi, um, and I am... <laughs> <laughs> I am coming out as a Ladala Bean to Holy all of you. <laughs> what does that mean? A Ladala Bean is a lesbian, if you're not on TikTok. <laughs> my favorite anxiety of the day today is that I'm going to have to deal with coming out to my students. I know most of them are just going to assume it already, but for the few that don't, that'll be a fun conversation. If it comes to that, yeah. So I'm not allowed to be out as trans non-binary at school. Do not come up in my comments saying that I am allowed because I'm not. I live in Louisiana and it sucks here. So of course my response to this is to be as obnoxiously queer as possible. So I've got my rainbow hair with leopard print. I've got my rainbow glasses. Sometimes I wear pins too with various rainbow things on them. I don't have any today. I just have my COVID sticker. I wear things that do not match at all. Basically my goal is to look like a unicorn threw me up. If I can't do that, what's the point? I never tell parents, period. On their survey at the beginning of the year when it asked for preferred name and pronouns it also asked for what you want me to refer to as when i call home and what pronouns to use so then i just make sure when i'm calling home i use what they prefer when i call home even if someone told me i couldn't do that and i couldn't call them whatever they want or the pronouns they want without parent permission i would still do it <laughs> so during third period we have announcements and they do the pledge of allegiance i always tell my class Stand if you feel like it. Don't stand if you feel like it. Say the words if you want. Don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words. My room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> But my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he like looks around and he goes, oh, that one? <laughs> the inclusive pride flag. I pledge allegiance to the queers. Time. 
This has been my first year in preschool with a class of my own, teaching alongside another queer neurodivergent educator, and we have been rocking our twos class. We've been talking about gender and skin color and consent and empathy and our bodies and autonomy. It's been fabulous. But our teaching team is shifting and a new person is being onboarded. So today at the lunch table, when the topic of gender and genitals came up, one of our students plainly looked up and said, well, I'm a girl today, but I know that teacher Ko isn't. No, they're Enby. And the look on the incoming teacher's face was priceless. She just looked around at the two of us and said, this class is incredible and I am so impressed.